Hey guys, these are my sea monkeys. They are three days old, and I'm here in Southern California. The winter has been really cold, so it was pretty difficult hatching them, but I was able to come up with a little hatchery and a way to keep them warm. And I also took them out in the sun whenever I could. And yeah, as you can see, they were able to hatch pretty well. There must be about 20 or 30 of them in there. So as you can see, my airline tubing is in there, and I have a stone, an air stone. And let's see if I can get this to focus better. So I have this little makeshift air pump because the Sea Monkey Company is no longer making the Aqua Leash and they are no longer making the Million Bubble Air Pump. So what I did was I have some airline tubing and I have it connected to a, this is a 10 millimeter, milliliter syringe, 10 mil syringe. And um, this is just, this part right here is actually just a piece of sprinkler, like a, a um, it's a piece to connect a mister system, a mist system for sprinkling, for um, misting plants. Um, really you could use any anything that would allow you to connect an, air, an airline, but um, I just needed a little piece that could connect and for me to drill a little hole into. Um, the, the, the hole allows me to draw in air without sucking up water from the tank so now I can use I can use a syringe to draw in air. Usually I would use two hands for this but I'm recording so and then to actually pump air into the tank, you would obviously close the hole and you just press into the syringe. And before I do it, I'm gonna adjust my lighting here. That looks good. I like to do a really fine um, pump of air because they're really small and um, I don't like to disturb them too much. So now I'm covering the hole and I'm just going to push down into the syringe and you'll see them f like flow around and stuff. See him getting affected by the current there. But it works really well. And I actually like it better than the the air pump that's included with a lot of the Sea Monkey kits. Because it allows me to, to get some airline tubing in there and put it where I want and I don't have to keep opening the lid. And these guys are starting to get pulled around. I'll have to make a video showing how how I made it and everything, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And I just leave it in there like that. You can this comes off really easy. The uh, syringe it just comes out like that. And you can set this aside. Um, let me see. 
turn up the lighting. So here was the syringe. Um, I just disconnected it, but it runs from here up and into the sides here. These new tanks have these um, these holes on the side, and I have the airline to being being fed to, through the top there in the lid, and down through the other side, and then down here. And you can see it's just held with a little with a little twist tie, like a qu uh, kitchen twist tie, there on on the top. And um, let me show you what that looks like inside. So if I open this, it's just connected just like that. A little twist tie through two of the holes there. And it runs into the lid itself. So yeah, just wanted to show off the um, the new guys here. I had to come up with a way to um, to warm them because it gets really cold. It's It's been really cold here um, around 50, 50 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit and um, I had to keep them indoors and come up with a little like a little hatchery almost to kind of get them started. But, yeah, we were able to make it work. And, uh, these guys are nice and warm. And as long as I keep, keep them warm and bring them in at night, they should be good. Everyone seems like they're doing okay. I want to say there's about 20 of them in there. Something like that. This is actually, I have the magnifiers pointed to, pointed towards the sun. I actually don't like, it's good for filming because the, the bubbles don't get in the way, but it's actually not good because the magnifiers, if you point them towards a sun, um, towards the sunlight, it actually, I worry that it will start heating up the tank and act like magnifying glasses. So when they're outside, I like to face them away. I like to face the magnifiers away from the sun so that they're, they're kind of back. See, there's lots of little babies down there. Well, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thanks for letting me join the group. And I hope to get more videos out.